you don't necessarily have to have so many BULs. As long as you have the right mix, may it be meron kang single premium, meron kang regular premium, that serves your purpose, that can be sufficient. A traditional uh, whole life insurance can give you a guaranteed return, 2 or 3%. But the question is, are you happy with that? So you can go variable unit, wherein it can cover you for the same amount of time, some insured as well, comparable. If you prefer to have that flexibility of where to invest, somewhere down the road you want to add more, then a variable unit link product allows you to do that. Also, look at where you could further diversify, not just in different asset classes locally, but also different asset classes globally. Um, we are seeing a lot of um, insurance companies, so the likes of AXA also has um, global funds. And uh, a recent trend in the recent years is uh, peso-denominated global funds being made available by uh, banks uh, and insurance companies. And this gives you that flexibility to allocate some opportunity, local ba or global. And we can readily allocate without uh, the hassle of buying dollars through those special denominated global funds. VUL is something that is uh, two pronged, it gives you protection and it also gives you an investment component. Uh, if you want more savings, like this is what I've been doing, top up ka lang ng top up. But if you want more protection also, in a way, you just get more riders to be able to enhance mm. the protection that you would want to get. Tapos, there are different kinds of riders as well. It could be a health rider, like a critical illness rider, na yung VUL mo, parang nakokustomize mo na siya as a health uh, insurance as well. So, na, if something happens to you na covered na ito yung mga critical illness, uh, you can claim on that insurance. Wala, wala ka makukuha unless something happens to you, right? But with a critical il illness rider, now you, you convert or parang mas customize na siya na hindi lang siya basta life insurance. Ano rin siya? Nagiging health insurance rin, rin siya in one through such um, riders like uh, a health rider or a term rider. To everyone watching, this is a good way for you to create a balance also and I think no, since as what you've mentioned, a lot of these these things are automated. It it removes the timing element. It removes the yung kakabahan ka because uh, it allows you already um, on a very very passive manner to be able to allocate on a monthly basis certain amounts that will go to your protection and also uh, for your investment for the long term. How do you know already that it's it's time to double down more into VUL? Is there a specific trigger also? Is it an amount of income that you are getting? Or uh, is there a particular strategy that could be employed for, for that mix also? At different life stages, you have a certain insurance requirement. And um, that's where uh, you, could, you should look at your portfolio of insurance as like, or insurance policies as like building blocks. Eh. Na, uh, kung bumili muna ako ng whole life dahil single ako ng time na yun, Kino cover niya ako until end of uh, till age 100, for example. And then now I got married, uh, and then I would I would have children. I would have to have a higher insurance requirement uh, because uh, they are dependent on my income. So I need to protect my income. May mga VUL products that would allow you to increase the multiplier. You don't have to buy a new one allows you to increase the multiplier. Because when I say increasing the multiplier, ang in a variable life product, you are covered by a certain multiplier. Meaning if I, depending on the amount that you put in, meaning if I put in 100,000 with a multiplier of five, I am protected for 500,000. And there are certain products that would have that flexibility to change that multiplier. These features on the multiplier is important that you get to appreciate it as well because it gives you that flexibility as I was uh, telling earlier on ensuring that you have the uh, right amount of protection uh, depending on your life stage. For example, someone wants to get around 20 million, the target for that is yung 20 million na yun pag 60 years old ako. 
eh, because the market has been good, what do you suggest? The 20 million has been hit already, uh, not knowing what will happen six years down the line when they hit 60 years old. Would it be prudent already to shift it to bond funds at that time so that they get protected? Is there a tactical strategy also that people could employ in terms of their VL so that they get protected that by the time I need the money already, I get protected from any volatility that would happen? You can do that on your own if you want, right? depending on the mix of funds that you have. At a certain point, the asset allocation will be changed na maybe at the start. 80% equities ka dahil kaya mo yung risk na yon and then nag-work into your favor. Uh, Nami-meet nyo na yung target amount that you want. Nila-lock in mo na siya by putting them into uh, cash and bonds. There are also uh, some fun solutions readily available. Uh, and I've seen a number of insurance companies providing this. These are what we call target date funds, so to speak. Meaning, when you buy into a target date fund, meron silang specified um date or specified year and through time let's say 2035 so if i buy a target date fund uh it has a mix of uh, bonds and stocks uh as of now and then through time it changes it becomes less risky more into bonds and cash by the time it matures or by the time it reaches 2035 and the whole point of that is we want to lock in and we want to make sure that your uh, funds will be there when you need it. Now, one thing that we don't want to happen is that if imagine if full equity is all yeah, full up. Yeah. Oy, okay to ah. Meron na akong 50 million, for example. Ah. And then a pandemic happened on the day itself. Or let's say a, a year before maturity. Bam! Nangalahati yung value mo. Parang, you're about to retire. You need that amount. And then, biglang, dahil 100% equities ka, lahat eh, or ano, mas malaki pa yung um, damage. So, dun mo ma-appreciate naman yung mga get date funds that has this, we call it, in uh, in investment parlance, ito yung glide path strategy uh, na, na nag-change yung asset allocation as it nears a certain target date or target maturity. That's why to everyone watching this, it's very, very important that you talk a financial advisor because it's not a one-size-fit-all strategy. But what's very, very true is as you get older, you need to taper off some of those aggressive investments and to sort of give you something that will protect you also as you get mm -hmm. older. Pero, uh, gusto ko rin sabihin to that Pag 60 kayo, it doesn't mean that you don't have exposure to equity still. Because if you live until 80, yeah. that's still 20 solid years of uh, money working yeah. for you. And you still need a portion of your portfolio to beat inflation. Because people have this misconception that pag 60 na dapat din ako naging equity. Not, not really. If you put everything in cash, oh. Oh, talo ka. And, Sayang. Oh, and you live if you live longer pa, uh, you, you might not have enough money pagdating mo ng 85 or or 90 years old also. Oh. So, are there any risks also for people who want to enter a VUL plan? What are the things that they need to consider also from a risk perspective? Yung risk that let's say an investor would uh, have to directly invest into a UITF or a mutual fund is the same risk because it's the same market that we are exposed to. It is really more important that we ensure that we have the right mix for you na comfortable ka. Uh, that's what we call yung pro proper risk profiling and you have a, an appropriate portfolio for you. VUL can give you offense because it can uh, give you growth and it can also give you defense because it can give you protection which is I think one of its yeah. upsides that uh, you don't see in other investments because majority of the investments that we normally get or at least talk about also mm -hmm. just focus on growth. VUL gives you the best of both worlds because it gives you both offense and defense. What should people do on a tactical level in terms of getting VULs? Look into the purpose first and if a VUL uh, meets your requirement. You don't necessarily have to have so many VULs. As long as you have the right mix that serves your purpose, that can be sufficient. And it makes sense no? from a practical level also. Gan ganun ako. When I was younger, ito uh, yung kinuha ko. But as my life stage uh, changed also, uh, na ko, I got married, uh, there were certain things that started to arise also that in my at least investment cycle, I had to add more. I had to open a new plan and 
I think that's something very, very crucial here that don't just look at the insights that we give. Try to apply it also to your personal life because there might be people that are my age that apat pala anak nila or there might be people that are my age also that single sila tapos hindi naman sila breadwinner yeah. and the insurance coverage the policies also would be uh, very very different if you want to know more about this you could talk to a financial advisor from AXA I'll put the link in the description for those who want to learn more about it if you would summarize what would VUL be for you what would it be because you would ask me uh, VUL is something that's essential for me it's an asset for me it's one of the first investments that I've ever entered into and it was a stepping stone for me it gave me the exposure to know what equity funds are what balance wow. funds are it gave me also yung tapang na loob to, to be able to weather the volatility also because I, I, I believe that I would not be aggressive as I am also right now without experiencing and getting VULs at the start and also I wouldn't be as aggressive right now if I don't have insurance also because like what you said, it's the building block. Eh? It's something that will allow you to go on the offense because alam mo meron ka ng defense also na if things that mm. won't go my way, I have something. Initially, I look at it as a protection and through time as my circumstances uh, change, it's flexible enough that it can be utilized as a convenient way for me to save through those regular crop of features. I don't have to think about it. It's going to um, the investment that I want. It's going to even serve my purpose if, say, I would need a health coverage by getting certain riders. So it's that flexible. Usual tanong sa akin is that, is getting a rider, will that actually help? Yes, as long as you make sure that the kind of rider that you get fits your purpose. I have control over that um, insurance vehicle, that VUL, of where to allocate it gives me that flexibility and as well as designating my beneficiary, how much I'm going to give to my daughter one, to my daughter two. That in itself also serves a future purpose, which is what I would call estate planning and when it comes to wealth distribution. An insurance product being part of your investment portfolio has its advantages, has its uh, tax advantages when it comes to estate planning, when it comes to uh, when the whole estate is now um, frozen, an insurance product is not. So it serves a very important and integral part of uh, planning for life. He said so much, but in my opinion, uh, all of this, you know, you've consumed this video, but if it stays as information, sayang naman. The strength of investing is in the execution that uh, watch this video, do your own due diligence, study, then execute. So if you want to know more, I'll put links in the description about AXA, what they do, how good they are. And then you can also talk to a financial advisor for you to be able to have a customized financial plan so that you know, how much do I need as coverage? How, what will be my technique on how I would also top up? And all of that can be discussed on a very, very personal level.